I start by cutting up the denim into pieces and mixing together the two parts of the epoxy resin. I spread the resin around with my hands, making sure it's absorbed into all those cotton fibres. I start layering the pieces into my moulds. Some of them are long and thin. I call these bits sausages, and I fold them up. These will become thicker parts of the frames later. I clamp the top part of the moulds down using a drill. This makes sure that all the pieces of denim are pushed together whilst the resin hardens. And when it has, I drill holes through the mould. The location of these holes matches precisely the fixture points on a special wooden jig that secures the hardened denim to my CNC machine. It takes a few hours to carve and cut six pieces that will eventually become the fronts of the sunglasses. I also cut out pieces that will become the sides or the temple arms. And there's more parts that are cut with a laser and engraved at the same time. I rub gold ink into the engraving so that it stands out. I made this video a few years ago and some of the details of my process have changed quite a bit since then, especially the way I assemble the parts of the temple arms. So I've cut out that whole section and will concentrate on the frame fronts. The way I make them hasn't changed as much. I align a brass reinforcement in the centre of the frames and laminate a piece of laser cut hardened denim over the top. Those parts get clamped together whilst I align the temple arms and the parts around the hinge. This whole assembly is carried out using a custom fixture which I built from plywood mostly. It allows me to change the angles and the alignment for the different shapes that I make. The assembled frame is very rough and it'll need a lot of hand finishing to bring it to life. I start by trimming some of that excess denim before carefully tweaking the alignment of the brass zigzag that caps the temple arm with the denim of the frame. Getting this closing surface of the hinge to be neat and tidy took a lot of development. This hand finishing process has evolved a little bit too, but it still involves a lot of sanding and shaping. An awful lot of sanding actually, to make sure that all the parts that are in contact with your skin are smooth and feel good. I use a technique that's usually used to make jewellery to add a texture to the brass details. The spinning steel wires that you're seeing on screen... Wait for it. Now, impact with the brass, creating a matte texture. And they often break off the tool and hurtle towards my face at tremendous speed. And once I've finished this texturizing process, every frame gets a bubble bath. I do this to remove all the dust from the etching before I apply the waterproof finish. I apply a few coats of clear varnish before the final coat of lacquer gets applied by hand. There's a few finishing touches before the tiny little screws that my chubby fingers find it hard to handle get tightened at the hinge. And by heating the frames, the hardened denim material becomes malleable and I can pop in the lenses and I can apply the rest of the curves to the frame so that they're comfortable to wear. And at this point, the sunglasses are finished. This is a process that I've been developing for 12 years now. It takes me two weeks to make a small batch in my workshop in the bottom corner of the UK, near the beach in Cornwall. You can choose between different denim colours, you can have polarised lenses, or you can just get the frame only so that you can get an optician to fit your prescription. Denim is normally worn on the thighs, but now you can wear it on your eyes.